Another international sports competition touches down on these shores this week. On the heels of the Narseka Beach Volleyball Tournament and the Carifta Track and Field Championships, the second edition of the Cayman Squash Open serves off, served off last night rather at the South Sound Squash Club. Then today, equipment sponsor Dunlop donate $18,000 worth of gear to the local junior program, which offers free squash to local students. Minister of Sports, the Honorable Mark Scotland and West Bay MLA, Klein Glidden, flanked by players, squash officials, and students from several high schools this morning. Came out prep George Hicks and pay students coming to the club as the tournament buzz continues to build. Seeing the top international players competing isn't the, isn't the only main attraction. Fans will get a chance to witness an exhibition match between Minister Scotland and Glidden on Saturday's final night. Main competitive match, you know, a little, a little bumping now and then, but I'm, I'm a little bigger now. I'm sure I'll need a, to use that whatever advantage I can get, you know. So, but we're looking forward to it. Whatever, whatever we can do to make it more enjoyable. I'm, well, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that I hope that what I do this week doesn't um, sort of wear me out that I'm not able to to, to, um, to have the match on, on Saturday. Hope to, yeah. hope, I hope we don't hear announcement on Saturday the minister had to withdraw for, for injury during preparation. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the on-court play got going last evening at the South Sound Club. The serious players, the high-octane action, moves over to Kamana Bay later on this week. Last night, Cayman's Dean Watson in the red opens with a victory over Barbadian Gavin Cumberbatch. Watson dispatched the former Caribbean champion in under 20 minutes, winning 11-5, 11-6, 11-8, getting his title defense off and running. It was a really good start. Um, I didn't expect to be quite as, I suppose, hot on my toes as I was. Um, it sort of came out of the blue, which was great, and I needed it. He gave me a few opportunities, and I took them. I'm not going to mess around. I'm here for business, and, and that's the end of it, really. In a business mood is Dean Watson. In other results, last night, local girl Chantal Day came up against world number 22. Delia Arnold of Australia. Chantal produced a brave effort. Actually, Arnold is from Malaysia. But Chantal lost in three games. The Caribbean's number one female, Nicolette Fernandes from Guyana, survives a four-set duel with Melody Francis to advance. And Barbadian Karen Meekins was bounced out by the American Natasha Khan. Matches continue this evening from 6.30 with free viewing at the South Sound Squash Club. Came and Myron Blair facing last year's losing finalist, Sean Simpson of Barbados. While Fernandes comes up against Arnold in a ladies qualifying match. The tournament moves to Kamana Bay on Wednesday and right through Saturday with the finals and it will be played on a unique glass court so if you can't make it out there for the finals on Saturday night however Cayman 27 will be bringing live coverage of those finals including the match between Minister Scotland and Klein Glidden look forward to that on the international sports scene American Phil Mickelson claims his third Masters green jacket after an enthralling final round at Augusta yesterday the 39 year old lefty produces some magical golf on the final day firing a final round 67 Three shots clear of the Englishman Lee Westwood. Mickelson dedicated the win to his wife, who's still fighting breast cancer. Back from a long layoff, world number one, uh, Tiger Woods battled hard on the final day to finish fourth. He too might take an extended break from golf, as he said today.